Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, it's Jess with Just a Tip. Today, uh, this morning, uh, we're going to start with mixing up the mud for our bazooka. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's a little bit runnier than um, what some tapers would use for like putting tapes on by hand or with a mastic tube. But uh, running machines, you want it to be as slippery as you can without making it too, too runny. Right, Phil? Yeah. So, uh, so that's how you do it with that box. Uh, yeah. You wrap it around the, the yeah, edges I don't know like if you that. Yeah, I bought that. The mud is in there. I wrap the edges of the, the plastic bags around the side and just drop it in. So, good thing we got the video. We could put that on a uh, pause and rewind it a little bit if you need to. So, put the tape mud for the bazooka. It needs to be pretty runny so we could wipe it, or else we're gonna have problems trying to wipe it with our knife. Yeah, it's not fun if it's if it's real thick. It's it just it's gonna slow you down. It's not fun. You're gonna find yourself with lots of wrinkles in your tapes. You don't want that. Uh, where's my drill? Cut the drill on. What I do is I like to break up the mud just a little bit before I add the water to it. Um, it's going to be a little loud. Oh. It breaks it up so that the water mixes better afterwards. Yeah, it flows into the mud a little bit better. If, if you start with a new box and you don't break it up before you add the water, the mud is going to spin around and the water is going to come out and you're going to get messy and your work area is going to get messy. And we need quite a bit of water in here. We need a tube and a, and three quarters. Yeah. So uh, we're going to put just one tube at first and mix it up a little bit or else it's going to splash everywhere if you have too much water in there yeah. at once. I kind of whip, whip it um, so that it's to the side, like my drill, so that it catches the mud and turns it over on itself. You don't want to start out going full blast, all hardcore, because you'll whip out the mud and the water at the same time because it's... it's so you just want to give it a little tap at first, until the water kind of mixes with the mud. It doesn't need to mix too, too much because uh, we're going to add more water. Okay? Yep. Sure are going to add a little bit more water. So three quarters of a tube this time. So uh, I'd say that's about, you know, maybe a little bit over a liter of water. You know, I'm not too sure what that master tube holds, but it's over a liter, I'm sure. Just a, a little bit over a liter altogether? I'm sure. And you can see now it's uh, turned into uh, something that's, that's pretty soft. Uh, yeah. Lift your drill up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still, it's still a little trippy. It's, it's pretty runny. You know, it's but if you put a thin coat on the wall, it's not going to run down your wall. It shouldn't. You don't want it too runny either. No. Yeah, it'll run down your wall. And taping mud is never, never, ever fun to sand off a wall. No. So that's it for mixing the mud for the bazooka.